I mean, no surprise then that Mr. Trump is doing this. He said he was going to do this. But do you understand why it's caused such outrage here? Yes, because British politicians are sheer hypocrites. Do you know, in 2011, when two al-Qaeda terrorists were found in Kentucky, Obama completely arbitrarily brought in a six-month ban on any Iraqi coming in to the USA. We did not hear a word of protest from any British politician about Obama doing that in the interest of, of, of keeping America safe. And what has happened here is the countries upon which Trump has put a temporary travel ban while they work out how they're going to put extreme vetting in place. That list was drawn up by the Obama administration and what he is doing is implementing it. And it seems to me that when Obama does something, that's fine, but somehow Trump is in this category of being a bad guy. Let's be honest, this was all part of his manifesto. In fact, in some ways, he hasn't gone as far as he said at some parts of the campaign. And you think that Britain ought to implement a similar process of excessive vetting? Well, I certainly do. Yes, of course I do. I mean, I think, I mean, we already have a problem with homegrown terror. And goodness knows it's going to take us many years, you know, to work on integration within our communities. The last thing we need to do is to add from it from outside. Mercifully, we are not part of the Schengen area. We see the terrible mistakes that Angela Merkel has made over the course of the last couple of years. And yes, I want us to be as careful as we can. But let's just be clear, the most recent terrorist acts carried out in Britain and America have not been by refugees. They've been by homegrown yeah. terrorists. And the danger of this policy is it alienates moderate, mainstream Muslim opinion. It makes it harder to fight terrorism. I don't think that moderate, mainstream Muslim opinion will be at all worried about this policy. In fact, they'll be pleased. Well, they uh, will if their because, relatives can't come here. Well, yeah, you were always going to find individual cases where a family will have a grievance. But overall, and I've got moderate Muslim friends living in this country, you know, who feel every time there's a terror attack that their quality of life is declining hugely. So anything we can do to stop these things happening actually makes it better for everybody. Do you understand why people are unhappy about what this says about traditional British values of openness and tolerance and what it would mean if we imposed the sort of ban that Mr Trump has? Well, I would get that point, you know, and whether it comes from the Labour Party or the Lib Dems or the government, I would get that point, but I'm not hearing condemnation of Saudi Arabia, of Qatar, of many other Arab states who refuse to take a single person from uh, Syria over the course of the last few years. I am not hearing criticisms of the 16 countries in the world that ban anybody from Israel from even visiting on holiday. I'm not hearing any consistent message. I heard nothing criticising Obama for banning Iraqis for six months. And I think, frankly, the British political class and much of our media are guilty here of double standards. Nigel.